What's up guys, this is Pastor Canavi again. We're coming out with another video tonight. So we're going to be doing another uh, WPF. Uh, it's going to be like a small application, but this is just mainly, we're going to be talking about the grid, uh, columns and rows, okay? Basically, what we're trying just to do is, this is how we can just do columns and row. Yeah, this is, this is how we're going to get to that point, okay? All right, so let's try that because that's pretty important working with WPF. All right, let's start. Let's close this. Oh, let's just keep it open. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is my IDE. It's already open. I got my grid. You know, so let's just start. We're going to be using, uh, let's see over here. We're going to be using grid. Uh, grid that um, column definitions okay okay and then you close that and then inside here that's what you have to use grid that column definitions and then inside here we're going to be using column column definition okay and then you close it and then you do a control C and control D. It will copy the next one. Okay. And then so that's done. Um, we need two columns, right? And now how many rows do we need? Do we need to do four? How many do we have in here? One, two, three, four rows. Okay, let's just do four rows. So we come over here again, we just do grid that row, not dirt, grid, grid that row definition, which is right there. And then you close it. And then right here inside, you're going to say a row definition. And then you close it and then you do actually you just do control D. So let's do how many of this? Uh we need how many how many rows do we say? Four. One, two, three, four rows. Okay. So we need two more. Okay. So right here is telling us, okay. So let's let's do something good. Let's split this this view right here is that better so let's switch it up right here and the arrows right here okay now we have it should we make it smaller maybe it's a hundred percent let's just do 66 right okay yeah we can see that and now we can start right here okay now so we have our columns we got two columns, zero and one positions, and then we have one, two, three, four. We got zero, one, two, three uh, rows right there. There's four, but we count zero, one, zero. Okay, inside the grid, we're going to have all the operations. We're going to say level, level. We're going to do, uh, we're going to close it right here. And in here, we're going to say grid that row. Right here, uh, we have zero, right? The row is zero, which is going to be this first one right here. And then um, and next, we're going to do the grid column. Grid that column. And right here, we want this to be 0, 2. Okay. And then we want content. What do you want the content to say? I am red. Okay. I am red. And then we're going to say, oh, the background. 
we want this background to be red. Okay. So that's red right there. Cool. We got row zero and column zero right here. What else do we want to do in here? We want to do a font size. Font size. We want to do this 40. Okay, says I am red. And then we want to do foreground. For right there. So that's going to be the color of the text, which is going to be white. Okay, now. We got to position this horizontal content alignment. Horizontal content alignment, which is right here. Let's use that and let's just do center. Cool. That's where we want it. All right. So, and for the next one, let's just copy the other ones because. And then we're going to do the, um, we're going to fix the uh, columns and rows. Copy right here. And then we need how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need seven, one, two. Total is seven. Uh, we need three, four, it was eight. So we did one, so we need seven more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right, let me just, oh man, let me just fix this. Let me, I'm only have time with this. Um, okay. Let's do this. Let's fix it back. Let's put it back. Okay. Let's change this to... Where is it? Right here. Okay. And then let's fix that in here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we got zero. So the second one is going to be, what color do we do the second the other one? Uh, it's going to be green. It's going to be green, okay? So the second one is going to be green. So let's do, we got, so now we still have in, in a row, so it's going to be this side right here, the next one. So we're still going to be row zero, but color one is going to be. So we'll say I am green. Right there, okay, cool. And then we're going to change this to... So green, the background is going to be green too. Okay, nice. So we fixed that. So let's go to the next one. So the next one is going to be yellow. Now it's going to be black and then yellow. So for the next level, so we got green and now we gotta change this to let's see, let's change the row so it's going to be still this is going to be row number now one right and then we're still <clears throat> in column zero 
and we're going to change here to black. I am black and let's change that color to black, the background. Okay, cool. Now, so now we want to go to the other side. So which is going to be color yellow. So let's change the <clears throat> row is going to be still is going to be not one. And then column is going to be one. Okay. And it's going to be yellow. Let's change that to yellow color. Okay. And now the next one is going to be purple. So this label is still in row, though we're going to row 0, 1, we're going to row number 2. Okay, that's what you want. It's still in column 0. And this is going to be purple. Right? It's going to be purple. And let's change the backgrounds to purple. Cool. Now, the next one is going to be going to be row two. Column is going to be one. Okay, and this is color brown. I am brown. And let's put right here brown. Okay. All right. So we're doing good so far. And then this last one, this the last one is going to be pink and cyan color or blue, whatever. Yeah. So we're going to do. We're going to go to the last one, two, zero, one, two. This is three. Row number three. Okay. It's still column zero. Content, I'm going to say I am blue. Now, what color is it? I am pink. I am pink. Let's change it to pink. Okay. And then the last one, we are in row. Yeah. It's still row three, but the column is going to be one. And then it's going to be I am. Let's just do blue. Okay. So let's uh, run this program. Yeah, voila, we have it. Cool beans. So that's how you work with rows and columns in WPF, which is really, really important. You use a lot of this. So now, let's just do one more thing over here. If you want to add, and this, and I am red, I want to add a text box. Uh, two text boxes. Actually, four text boxes. So we're going to add. Now, actually, it's going to be two rows and two columns. Okay, we're going to add that. And I am red inside. Inside that. Okay. Let's try that and see what we got. Um, so how do we accomplish that? So we're going to go right here on the level. Right, right up to this first level, red. I am red, and right here, we want to use a grid. We close that, okay. Inside here, we're going to do the same thing what we did over here. We 
we're going to use these definitions right here for column and then for rows. But we only need two rows, two columns and two rows. So let's get rid of this. And we should be good with that. Now inside the grid, that's where we want to add. So in here, we want to add the text box. Text box. Right there. And then we close it. This first one, we want this to be in grid the row. So inside, right, it's going to be zero. Okay. And then we're going to have a grid column. So this is going to be zero to zero. Then let's just do a margin. Oh yeah, that's not that's not how you spell it. Grid. Then we do margin. We're going to do ten. Okay. Let's see what we have. Okay, we got the first one. Right there. Okay. Now let's do. The next one is copy this and the next one we're going to change that here it's zero but then it's going to be one okay let's see that okay right here Ooh, too big <laughs> very wide but anyway that looks good in there let's add two more Let's copy those two right here. And then we're going to paste it right there. And then let's just change that. We need in the other side now. The next, the next on the bottom right here. Okay. So we need to go to row number one. Right. And then we need to go to still column zero because that's what you wanted. And then for the next one, I want it's number one and then one. And then that should give me what we need. Cool. Nice. That worked. All right, guys. Thank you very much for checking the video. Hopefully this video kind of help you out a little bit with this example how you can use uh columns and rows and wpf all right so uh don't forget to like and subscribe for the channel so we can keep uh putting more videos all right thank you very much and have a good night i will see you next video okay bye bye